Hi folks, Ben from Summit is today showing you how to set up and pack away these Alto tents from Cedar Summit. Hit it. The Altos Ultra Lightweight Tent from Cedar Summit has heaps of interior room thanks to their tension ridge poles are made without any compromise when it comes to design and they come in multiple setup options to suit adventures in just about every climate. Before we dive into this product, there is loads more content like this on our YouTube channel, so make sure you like and subscribe and you'll get notified of all of our latest content. Now let's jump in. So in my hands here is the Cedar Summit Alto TR110. Now there's actually five different versions of this tent. The Alto comes in a, a one and a two person version. So it's one person or two people. And each size also comes in either a full polyester inner or a full nylon inner. The nylon being slightly warmer to sleep in and better for alpine conditions. And they also do it in a bike packing version, which has got a different stuff set configuration that it comes in and a shorter pole set. We've got a separate video on that, that you can check out. So this is the Alto TR1 Plus. So single person with a full nylon inner. This is how it comes. Weight range across the whole Alto range, um, excluding the bike packing version, is from about 938 grams through to just under 1.3 kilograms for the TR2 Plus. The TR1 here measures about 45 centimeters and about 10 centimeters in diameter roughly. So that's obviously gonna go up a little bit in diameter as you get to the TR2 and down a little bit as you use the TR1 uh, plus without the nylon in it, but not much difference there. But they all come in this awesome stuff sack configuration here, which I'll undo now. So as with all Cedar Summer products, everything here has a use and it all makes sense as I pack it up. So there's three different sections to how this can be packed away. Either pack it in your pack like this, all connected together or separate it out and split up the load. Now you've got, um, th that I believe is the fly, that I believe is the inner, and this is the poles in here. These double as pockets that will go inside the tent once it's set up for storage, so they get used uh, as in the stuff sacks. And then this cover here, which has got a slightly rigid sort of bar in it, becomes a diffuser for a light that attaches in the top of the tent. So you can throw your head torch in there and it becomes a light. When you're not using it for that, they're the stuff sacks for the tent. So with, with, as with all Cedar Summit products, really well considered, everything has a use and the design of these is just um, really well thought out from start to finish. So the first thing we'll do is take all the products out of these stuff sacks so you can see what you get included with your Telos tent. So inside this stuff sack here, now don't put this somewhere where you're not gonna lose it, it doesn't blow away, it's going to attach inside the tent. This here is the fly sheet. So all green fly sheet we can tell because it's got the attachments for the to, to go to the inner there so keep that aside for now in this bag here we'll find the inner tent once again put the stuff sack aside so you don't lose it so this is our inner here and we can see that it's the plus version so we've got a full uh, nylon inner rather than the mesh and then in the third bag here now this has got an attachment at both ends because it's designed such that you can put a um, uh, one or two or more um, headlights in here to light it up. But inside here, we've got the poles, the DAC poles. That's now just an empty, semi-rigid sort of um, pocket there or pouch there. You don't have to use this, but it is really handy inside the tent set. So. The last thing you get should be a little bag of pegs here. Now this has got pegs, glow rope, and a repair kit in it. So there's a little pocket on the front here and the main pouch. The pocket on the front houses the little guy ropes, so you don't have to, or well, the guy ropes don't stay attached, which means when you pack it up, you don't get all the, the tangled guy ropes and things. You can remove them easily. So you've got the little slider on here to tension it, and then this little boomerang shaped thing here, which is what you can attach and remove the guy ropes with, and we'll show you that shortly. So they all pack in their own pocket here. And then you also get some ultra light alloy pegs inside here to set it up with. 7075T6 alloy pegs, really ultra light, lighter weight than their regular ground control pegs. And you also get tucked away in here a little repair pouch. So you've got some repair patches there in case you do happen to damage the tent at all. Now I'm gonna set this up the classic way, which means I'm gonna spread this inner out, peg it out, and then put the fly over the top, obviously putting the frame in there as well. But you can also set this up just as the inner only, if it's a warm night. Uh, you can also set it up just with the fly sheet, not using the inner, and you can either do that with or without a footprint. And you've also got the option to set it up as a partial fly, which means you can put the inner up, put the fly on and fold it up, and the fly is only there if you need to fold it down during the night. So you've got a few different setup options. The other bonus is, and I'll show you this as I pack it down, because I'll pull the inner out first and leave the fly up, 
to show you that you can actually set the fly out first if it's raining and then put the inner in afterwards. So you've got tons of setup options with the Telos 10 here. The first thing I'm gonna do though, is lay this out and peg it out. Now all the corner um, peg points have got tensioners on it. So I'm just gonna peg it out loosely for now and we'll apply tension to it later. So four pegs, one in each corner. So that's four pegs in the base there. And I've just left a bit of slack in there because we can tighten this afterwards. This has all got, ten all these got tensioners on it. Now there are um, inbuilt little sort of tensioners here in this, uh, the Telos uh, tent here. It's classed as a semi-free standing tent. So the only other poles we've got is this here, which is an all-in-one hub. We've got this one point at the end here, and then we've got two green points down at the foot end of the tent. And that correlates with the color-coded elements on the pole here. So these green sections of the pole go to the green end of the tent, the gray to this end here. So the next step for me is to put this together carefully. Don't just snap all of these together, just put them together so they slide all the way in. You wanna make sure they're seated all the way in, not part way in. And once this is together, we can put them in these tabs in the, in the uh, tent here and then lift the tent up against the frame. So the next step is to lift the center of the tent up uh, to the center ridge sort of pole area here. So to do that, we grab this funny looking little clip here. They're different than the other clips, the C clips and then this one here, this clips to the center hub. Now we need to spin this around. This is the tension ridge, this is a really unique part of this tent. These need to face upwards. This gives the tent lots of height and space inside and this clips underneath here. The next step from there is to come out to the edges and clip these fabric loops to the plastic loops on the end of the tension ridge poles here. And that's on both sides. And that then lifts the tent up and it starts to take shape. Clip that one over there as well. A little bit of pressure and it just locks into place. And we can see that this is now starting to take shape. And from here we can go to these C-clips. There's two at this end of the tent where the single pole runs and then four across the pack, uh, across the back, sorry, and two at the rear pole section. So if we have a look at the design of the tent now, you can see how they, why they call it semi freestanding because this end's only got this single pole here. Without these two pegs here, this end of the tent wouldn't stand up. So um, you do need to be able to peg this tent down to, to be able to use it. You can't just sort of plonk it down and, and use it without pegs. There is one more peg to put in around the base because this side of the tent pulls out like this. It's another um, rope that tensions on the side here. So we'll leave a bit of slack in it for now, but we can see that tensions. I'm just gonna put the peg in here. And then once I've done this, I'm just gonna go around to each of the base or each of these corner anchor points and just apply a bit of tension. Just tight enough so that if you sort of look inside, you're getting rid of the creases in the floor of the tent. So that's the inner tent set up. Floor feels firm. You know, we can use the tent like that. It's not waterproof like that, but that would be all right on a uh, mild night. To make it waterproof, we throw the fly over the top. Now, this is also color coded. If we have a look at the, find your way around the base of the tent, we've got the one doorway here. So the doorway needs to line up with the doorway on this side here. We've got these green clips here, which correlate to the green clips that I just tensioned to the rear of the tent. So we've got two of those. There, they actually attach to the little green sections that I showed you before. That'll make more sense shortly. But what we need to do first is find these pockets underneath the tent here. Just here, these pockets here. So once we've found these pockets underneath here, line up the green tab with the green on the inner tent there. Pocket just sits over the top of the silver end of the pole there. We do that on both sides and that will just hold the fly sheet in place in the center of the tent while we put the rest of it, or peg the rest of it down. Now fold the rear end of the fly over the top so the fly's facing the right way. Pull it down the sides. And we can now go to the rear of the tent and use these clips to attach the fly sheet to the inner. Now these attach really easily. This is really ingenious, really well designed. This little C-clip here simply slides on, if, or if you try and push it straight down, you can see it doesn't work. You slide it on sideways like this, spin it around, and that locks the fly sheet on. Simple as that. Do that on both sides here, and then the front of the tent is slightly different. Now at this end, we've got the central C-clip here. So this goes over the gray um, base or foot, uh, foot of the, the pole there, same as the rear of the tent. 
And then on each side here, I'm gonna use the same pegs that I used for the inner. So you don't have to put extra pegs in, you can use the same ones, just tension that a little bit. Same on the other side here. And then we've only actually got one more peg to put in. The rear of the tent, we can attach over the existing peg that we've got back here. And then we just need one more peg at the front to peg out the vestibule and the entrance. Now, before we finish off the fly setup, um, we kind of want to align all this up with the inner frame. And there's one thing I probably should have done before I attached it all, but thankfully it's easy to attach and remove all of these things. But underneath here, I've got these Velcro tabs that attach around the frame itself. So if I undo these, thankfully this being so easy, it's really easy to follow this back up under here. We can see there's a tab or just here that will attach around the frame. We can do that there. There's one on each hole here at the foot end. And then at the head end, there's two more tabs to go around the frame as well. If we do them up as we go, preferably before you attach it all down like I did, we we'll touch this back on here and then just tension the straps or the corner straps or tensioners are here so that the frame roughly lines up with the seams here. So if I tighten this down now, you can see that this seam here is lining up roughly with where the frame is. So that's the fly pretty much attached. So I'll just do those Velcro tabs at the other end and we can use the tent like that on a pretty mild night. If however it is windy um, or it's a bit of a rough uh, uh, night, the weather's not so good, you can use guy ropes to give you a bit more stability. Now you get four guy ropes with the kit, two short ones and two long ones. The long ones are the light gray, the short ones are the dark gray. And these attach with these little boomerang things. So there's, I won't unravel this whole guy rope now, but this is the tensioner that goes at the peg end of the guy rope. And this is the attachment to the tent. And these go through these little gray tabs here there's four of these on the tent that they can go through you poke the little boomerang through the loop pull it out the other side so it's well clear and then the guy rope just sits in like this that secures the guy rope on there and we've got four points on the tent that we can use these so we use the two shorter ones at the rear here because it's a short way to the ground if we move around to the doorway here there's a second attachment point here that we would use a longer guy rope to, and that just keeps this door, this vestibule, more open. And the last uh, guy rope point is this one on the front here. There isn't one at the rear, just this one here. So once you've got all those pegged out, the tent's gonna be pretty sturdy overnight. I also just tension these a little bit to line this seam up with the pole there, and also do up the Velcro strap inside there from the, uh, from the fly around the pole. Now that's the tent pretty much set up in its standard sort of traditional manner. We haven't attached these yet. We cover off on this more in our features video, but there are little push studs on the back of this that line up with uh, push studs inside the tent. So this goes up in the roof of the tent as a light bar. Check our features video for that. And these bags inside the bag have got these little tabs, which also have little press studs that allows these to hang inside the tent like this. As a little storage pocket. You've got the pocket at the front there and the pocket there. We'll show more of that in the features vid. Check that one out if you want to see those. But for right now, what I'm talking about is all the setup options with this tent here. Now, before I go to packing this up and what I want to do it pack up is to pack up the inner first and then the fly to show you how you can do it in wet weather. I want to show you their partial fly setup. So to do that, what it means is this fly sheet rolls up from both ends up into the middle here. So it's just kind of stored, I suppose, as a long sausage over the top of the, the, the tent here. So overnight, you can sleep without any rain protection if you don't need it, it makes it cooler. If it does rain overnight, it's really easy to jump up and uh, put the fly back over the tent without too much fuss. So to do that, what we want to do is go around and loosen all the guy ropes around the base here first. So we've got a bit of space. Detach the three attachment points at each end, or well, this end there's three at the foot end. The green clips that we talked about at the foot end, we take them off so the fly's loose. You then need to undo these Velcro tabs around the pole here. And we're gonna roll this up like this from each end up to the middle here. Once we get up to the middle, there's a elastic strap up underneath with a little boomerang on the end that will loop around the top to hold it all bunched up in the middle of the tent. This long kind of sausage over the top here, sitting there not really doing anything other than um, being ready to put back over the tent if it does come in rainy or cold overnight. So 
If you are sleeping in there and the weather comes in inclement and you want to pull the fly back down again, all you need to do is release this boomerang clip here, this little elastic strap here, let the tent roll down at each end, doing up these tabs as you go, clip it down over the clips at the base and tension all the guy rips up again and your tent's once again waterproof. So to show you the option to just have the fly set up by itself, um, I'm gonna take down the inner first so you can set up, uh, pack down fly last. And in doing that, I'm gonna uh, make the assumption that it's probably wet enough that when you set it up, you set it up fly first and then attach the inner after. So I've been around to each guy rope and I've flipped the inner guy rope and the outer guy rope so they're the other way around because I need to take the inner off before the fly sheet. It's gonna make it easier to do from inside the tent. Probably something you could do while you've got your rain jacket on before you get underneath here to pack it up in the rain. Now, the other thing I need to do is just leave this door open so that you can see what I'm doing. Obviously, if I was packing this up in the wet uh, and I want to keep everything dry to pack the fly up last, I'd crawl in here, zip this closed and do everything that I'm about to do underneath the fly in a waterproof space. So if I now come in here, I'm just going to close this door up. It's going to be quite squashy, but you'd have to kind of squash your way in this vestibule here. So we do everything in reverse. First thing we want to do is undo these clips here. Now, probably before we do that, we need to make sure all of these Velcro tabs were undone from the fly sheet so that it's detached completely. So undo that one, that one, that one, as much as you can. And we're starting to create more space in here now as this falls down. So we've got a bit more room to work with. Come down to the front, two clips there as well, and the Velcro tabs. Probably the most awkward bit of packing up from the inner is getting these clips off. They're easier to put on than they are to take off, but you kind of need to roll it out of the clip here and just push it. There's a little notch in there to keep these in place. So just a little bit of muscle to get that out, but leave the pole in the fly pocket there. Undo the center hub there as well. And then on the other side here, push that out from the clip too. And the inner is now detached from the fly sheet with the exception of the floor anchors here. Now this is where having put the fly sheet underneath the guy rope or the rope for the inner has made it easier once I'm inside the tent because I can just unhook that from the peg there. Same on the other side here. Loop that over the top. Now the center one here, actually clip into the section for the fly. So if I loosen this and remove this clip from the fly here and then take the pole out of the foot and then put the pole through the loop on this C-clip for the fly. Now this is one slightly, well not really a shortcoming, but one less than perfect uh, option for the, the auto that the uh, Cedar Summers other tent versions are probably better suited in that this is a fly only setup. If you were to use this just as fly only, this pole doesn't have an anchor unless you put a peg through this section here and it kind of wants to escape out this way. So if you're using this with a footprint, you've got the footprint to anchor this. If Ideally, that's how you best want to use the Autos as a fly only setup. Without the footprint, this kind of wants to escape a little bit. Still doable, but still a really good function uh, in the Auto tent if you need it for uh, to be able to set it up and pack it down in a dry space. With it. If it's raining at the moment, this is all zipped up. I can do all this under shelter. Now moving on further, I'm going to go to the back go rope here. Take that off as well. You can see the inner is now all coming together. I'm going to start to even roll it up as I go towards the back of the tent here. And the rear of the tent, same deal as the front, take the C-clip off, remove the pole from the inner foot section and put the pole through that C-clip. You can then remove the inner from the tent peg, take the tent peg if you like, because that one doesn't have anything else around it. You don't want to lose it. Same thing on the other side here, remove the C-piece attach or remove the inner and attach that to the clip so you can see here now this is if this is done up it would be better but you can see this is less than ideal it's not the best setup here at the moment and the wind's actually pushing this over it right now so once again if there was a fly sheet uh, a footprint here sorry it would tension this much better but for a to create a dry space to set up and pack this tent away this is a really good option so we've now got the inner completely separate from the fly of the tent. So from here, I can fold my inner up, pack it in its bag, pack my sleeping bag with everything I wanna keep dry in my pack under the shelter of uh, the fly sheet here. 
and the wet fly sheet could be the last thing that I pack away. If you've got this pegged out with uh, guy ropes as well, it's gonna make this far sturdier. Uh, and if this is actually zipped up, it's gonna look a bit better than it is now. But um, I would say this isn't the most ideal uh, option. If you wanna use this as a fly only setup, get a footprint or look at another option. But it is an awesome um, way to pack the tent up if you're using any wet environments. Now to pack up the fly sheet, we just remove it from the pole. So I'll come down to the foot end here. We just remove these clips from here. So I might be out in the rain doing this now. Unclip this. We'll leave that attached in the middle there for now. I'll just remove the peg here before I forget. Two pegs at the head end here. We'll remove the clip from the frame. One more peg for our vestibule. So we've now got the pole flat in the ground, fly sheet here. Assuming I've packed this away, everything's dry in my pack. It can be raining as much as I want. All that's getting wet is this. So to pack this away further, we just remove these pockets from the frame here, fold the fly up, fold the, pe the poles away, and we can pack it back in its storage bags. So with these slippery fabrics, it can be really hard to roll it up neatly. Um, there's always a little bit of sort of stuffing involved. So roll it up as neatly as you can. Always hard when it's windy too. Stick to roughly the length of the bag there, and it should still all squish in pretty well. Let's try and tuck it all in as best you can as you go. And just sort of squish it to allow some space for this pocket here so that the pegs, or the poles, sorry, if you're carrying it together, will tuck into that pocket, external pocket there. When you fold up the fly, um, I like to fold it so that sort of a common point is at the top. So this is the apex, the ridge across the top. So I've sort of folded it in half flat this way. And then the vestibule stick out each side here. And it gives a reasonably flat sort of area to be able to fold it. It doesn't have to be perfect and these, these fabrics are slippery so it can be um, a little bit difficult to fold them neatly anyway. But if you fold it as neat as you can to start with, it makes getting it back in the bag a whole lot easier. So I'd say the fly sheet was harder to get back in the bag than the inner tent. If you want to make it, I can't see myself putting it together like this all the time unless I specifically need it for uh, transport. But tuck that so there's a light bar on the poles there. The two bags here, then you've got these clips on the bags here to hold it all together. This goes through this section here and you can just tighten that up to keep it together, flip it over. Same on the other side, clip that through the loop on the opposite bag, tighten that up and that's pulled it all together like that. Again, ready to go in your pack or leave it separately if you're dividing the weight between other people in your party. That is the Alto TR1 Plus tent from Cedar Summit. Went back in these bags pretty easily sets up really easily such a well-considered tent with so many awesome design features everything's been thought out to the finest detail check these out online at snowies.com.au